Welcome back to Valley News Live. We're looking here in Fargo where there are some flakes flying through. Uh, those street lamps and those roadways are not looking all that good out there. And it's a first alert weather day from tonight into tomorrow as even though the snow might be winding down by tomorrow morning, we're going to continue seeing those strong winds which will reduce visibility. So let's take a look at what we've received so far in the way of snow reports. Grand Forks, our big winner at eight and a half inches. Emmaville, not too far off at eight inches. Devil's Lake and Detroit Lakes, both at six and a half inches, despite being on opposite sides of the area. And Moorhead at 4.2 inches. We're seeing about four here in Fargo. And cloudy skies, 24 degrees. Those winds have picked up just a little bit out of the east southeast at five miles an hour, but it's enough to make it feel like it's 18 degrees out there. And a look at the satellite and radar shows that band of snow still parked over the northern valley. We saw a couple bands move through the Fargo area, but right now they have moved off to the east and joined that larger band up to the north. So we're going to continue seeing some pretty heavy snow for folks up in the north. We're expecting some big snowfall totals as we get those in. I'll update you, but uh, those winds will continue to be an issue. Right now, they're not too bad in the south, but up in the north, we're seeing wind speeds of about 25 to 30 miles an hour with gusts close to 40 in some locations. Here in Fargo, like I said, it's five miles an hour. Some calm readings as well. Now those temperatures still fairly warm. We're trying to hold on to those upper 20s in Lakes Country, Alexandria at 27 and out to the west, Jamestown is at 15 degrees. They've actually warmed up over the last hour or so. Now as we continue moving through the overnight period, we're going to watch that band keep sitting right there until the early morning hours of the morning on Sunday. Here we are about 3.30 and pay attention to those winds. Those yellow arrows are wind speeds of 30 to 40 miles an hour. Those greens from 20 to 30. Now, as we continue moving through toward about sunrise, we're gonna see that snow continue to wind down, become a little less organized as it moves its way off to the east and to the south, but we'll still be dealing with that heavy snow for folks in the northern valley. And out to the west, that wind will have actually increased for many folks. Those gusts we can expect over 50 miles per hour. Now, as we move through the remainder of the morning into your lunchtime, we're going to see that snow start to wind down, move to the south, and We'll still see some scattered snow showers at that point, but for the most part, we'll be watching this thing wind down at that point. And that snow will, or that wind will continue to howl out of the north at about 30 to 40 miles per hour. Now, as we move into the evening, we'll be mostly done with that snow. Just a couple of remnant flurries here and there, and that wind will start to taper down at that point too. So we will be done with the snow for the most part by around lunchtime, but those winds will result in blowing snow which will cause those visibilities particularly out west in open country to fall rapidly so watch out for that if you're headed out now for the remainder of snow totals we're going to see about seven to ten maybe a little more inches for folks out to our east grand forks could see another five to eight inches and here in fargo we could see another two to four places to the south and west just about a trace now by the morning we'll still be seeing some of that snow temperatures around the 20s and they won't warm up all that much by the afternoon. So don't forget to set your clocks forward as we lose an hour of sleep tonight. As that snow continues into the morning, the sun comes out on Monday and Tuesday. It's a bit windy then. And then there's another issue brewing on the horizon Thursday and Friday, some overnight snow there. But as we look into next week, we see those 30s return. So that's looking all right. It is. It's, it's looking, looking pretty good. Nice. You didn't have to remind us of the lost I hours. I know. That's, that, that, that was not my not favorite part, for sure. Yeah. Well, coming up, job numbers are on the rise.